Right. So we talked about palmar epineurosis, uh, which is a triangular uh, epineurosis, which lies just um, underneath the skin. It is actually the deep fascia of the hand, uh, which has been thickened in the center of the palm. Um, although the fascia, the deep fascia of the hand covers uh, the entirety of the palmar surface, uh, but um, and uh, superficial, um, uh, rather above the thenar eminence, uh, this fascia is known as the thenar fascia, and above the uh, hypothenar eminence, this fascia is known as the uh, hypothenar fascia. But the deep fascia in the center part of the palm is known as the palmar eponeurosis, and here it is much more thickened. And uh, the purpose it serves is that it um, has, as you can see in this picture, there are very, uh, there are numerous uh, tiny uh, ligaments which are connecting or adhering this palmar epineurosis to the overlying dermis, the skin. So what it does is that it provides um, a good grip to the hand as compared to the dorsal surface of the palm, uh, of the hand, I'm sorry, uh, as compared to the dorsal surface where the skin is quite loose, um, the skin on the palmar side is much more adherent and that is because of this palmar epineurosis. Now the palmar epineurosis has an apex, it has a base and um, the apex is uh, a continuation. It is uh, attached to or is continuous from the tendon of the palmaris longus um, and the base is against the, uh, the four medial digits. Uh, then we also talked about the fact that um, uh, in addition to giving um, a good grip to the hand, this palmar epineurosis also protects the structures, uh, underlying structures, uh, which are the uh, arterial arches, which we'll be discussing in further lectures. Uh, in addition to that, the two margins of uh, this um, epineurosis um, these are 